Hey guys, this is R7 and we are continuing our free-to-play series in Hearthstone. Hopefully this time the stream won't get interrupted by some connection issues. Um, in the last part we played against Expert AI with the basic mage deck. Then we created our first complete uh, custom mage deck and won our first game on ranked. So yeah, that's that and I think we want to continue playing on ranked until we feel that there is uh, well, no chance to get any further or until we hit uh, rank 20. Because then we unlock the Tavern Brawl and we can easily level up the other classes. At least the level 10. So let's see how that works out. Jaina versus Jaina! You asked for it. Oh, it is on. I think we want to keep the mirror entity. Don't have a one drop. That's all right. the basic deck, so that would explain it actually, but the basic deck does not have a claim I what, he has a claim on it Because the Flame Waker has such a strong effect. Uh, it basically crushes the board, the enemy board, and uh, the problem. We have token movements out, which we have in our So that's. 
spots. Could have played the arcane missiles, yes, but if damage got distributed among the minions, wouldn't have to have, not have helped us at all. What to do? Because both our minions have enough. Alright, he used the flame strike. We got our flame strike. element is such an insane value for a four mana drop. It's basically, stats wise, it's a children yeti with a really nice effect. Hello, hello, hello. Everything else, which is insane. Value wise, this card is just plain of being. if he does not have minion. So yeah, basically survival too. Now they are looking bad. Actually, Jaina versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. You asked for it. This is much better. 
here we go. What a lemon. Cards for this coin innovate max cap ready for action and the war. That is a lot. the wrong order, man. Such misplace. Such misplace. We just took three more damage to the place that we would have needed. Wow. Job's done. Well, I guess there is a reason why he's 24. I can see to you. Correct choice. You know what? Let's actually reduce the stack down to the uh, last cards only. Let's remove all the common cards that are just not needed. Let's make it as simple as it 
Oh, the snow chugger is kind of needed though. Snow chugger is really good. Oh. Let's see if we can... Just the basic cars. What's... What would we have for some two plays? Not much, actually. So, we could not play the Pilot Treader. The Argent Horse Rider. Hmm. But we could include the grim. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. We don't even have any controls. Let's go full 100% free to play on this deck. Like, we did not have any parts whatsoever that were used. Okay, definitely want the charge dudes. We need three more cards. This way we only have class cards and this deck costs exactly zero mana. Pretty nice, huh? We downgraded our one drop. Our two drop works differently. Three drop now. It's a downgrade because the snow truck is such a great car. It has very good stats for it. That's good stats. Good stats for a mana cost minion. Very good effect. Especially against Druid. Jaina versus Rexa. Or any class that uses weapons. Let's the hunt begin. You asked for it. We did gain some small Murloc synergy. I'm not sure how far this will bring us. Well, if we play our Murloc Titan, so he gets buffed, so. Don't mess with us! <laughs> Two 
my side. Regarding this Murloc play, Job's done. we play the Murloc Tight Hunter first because the two do not have to charge. These two, this in particular, is only good to play when you already have Murlocs on the board that can attack. This one can attack the turn it's played, so obviously we try to be greedy here. Play the well, it's not even greedy, it's just make the better play. We play the Tide Hunter first. Hope they survive until next turn. And next turn we can play Grand Scale Oracle and the Blue Green Warrior. And we need some damage, but we just got it. To my side. Well fought. I can see. Why did he can't see? What the hell? Oh well, I'm not complaining. Jaina versus Jaina. You asked for it. Oh, it is on. I have to keep in mind that we definitely need the arcane missiles for the board. Unless we're close to finishing the game, we want to play uh, the arcane missiles on the board. 10 minions on the board. 10 out of 10 do not want to do this. We could play the Murloc Titan, so. However, we need to firepower. The hero powers and remove the divine shears. Yes, no. Probably the divine shield doesn't matter, but still. The hero powers again to remove our minion. Uh, well, he is not able to regain one. Fireball or Polymorph. Whereas a Polymorph even would be worse because we would still have a minion on the board. What to do? What to do? Hello, hello, hello. I'll hurry up. Oh. 
portals online. Hold on. Why didn't I play the Shattered Sun Cleric? We do not get any benefits from buffing our water elemental up. Um, we will get this up to 6. We would still die to a fireball and the uh, well, polymorph obviously would still work too. I wonder. So we try to keep it and play it when we actually generate some value out of it. Our water elemental was undamaged, then it would have been better to play it. Great. So this is my class problem. We must cleanse the sun well. Job's done. valuable minion of all even with zero to taunt for zero mana is better than the enraged chick angry chick whatever push forward just got the worst And it costs them two mana to play this. Amazing, amazing new build. Job 
this. Done. She has in her hand. He got super unlucky with the angry chicken and super lucky with Ragnaros. I guess, guess that's kind of balanced. We are currently very unlucky to not have drawn any of our hearts. And he's already used both of these. We draw all fully more. All right, now please get the enemy. Lame strike is not enough. He will hit us eight. Get things and next turn we are done. Don't have any heals, which means this is gonna be our first loss.
can't do much against that. At least not with this deck, which costs zero mana. Unstable portal can generate an insane amount of shall bring victory. You asked for it. Mainly because it's a minion draw, but you can get legendaries from it that you don't have. So it can be a legendary for the mana cost of common. And I do believe you have more than a 50% chance to gain full value out of it. Yeah, most most minions are three costs or more. So yeah, the likelihood to generate value from it is extremely high. Play the second arc in missiles, but we won't, since we already removed the minion, which is all we wanted to do. Way more problematic if we use the Chu and Yeti with the effect than our face. Because um, Breeze does have a problem to remove for attack minions. And obviously, every single help that the Chu and Yeti has counts. Now, what, what is he gonna do? It's mediocre. Can play these two on turn six. Does help us a lot. Oh, we most certainly do not have Lens the sun well. Probably is. If he has a holy nova, he will play it right now, but uh, he should be able to uh, show it yet here. Played one more games. Unlikely. There's a second one. So we should be. We should be fine by playing another elf minion. Let the pain speak to me. 
fraud generator. Sweet. That's really good for us. Oops. This card. This is not. Uh, well, he obviously used it on the Blue Girl Warrior. And he did not use it on our Go Bashi Berserker. Which is very, very nice. Okay, let's. See what he has. There's an answer for that. I am a master of magics. Why does he have so many spell damage units? Second old Nova wouldn't do him any good. Okay. Decent answers to well, anything you can play the game. Slowly climbing ranked. We'll definitely hit level 20 with this stack. And after you hit rank 20, you actually can lose stars to again be at level 20. Um, I'm not sure how far you can come with this stack. Jaina versus it's not Jaina. really bad. Has okay development opinions. Oh, it Definitely is has room for improvement. So. But if you get decent turn one draw, it can be okay. I think it's fine. Hello, confirm. One of them definitely would benefit this deck. One of them is a huge threat because you can easily get it up to a 3 3 on turn 2. Yeah, he has mirror image. Problem. Don't 
mess with us. Say twelve point five percent chance. That way he is unable to have hero power to remove one of our minions, he only can trade for him if he has a flame strike or boost the players out of But he is unable to trade favorably. Basically has to trade, but he's not gonna like it. Oh, 
does nothing. Also get removed by a flame strike. But if we get our second charge relog, we can play alongside these two and get four attack out of Your opponent left. Okay. That's kind of Nice indeed. Alright. We're slowly climbing in ranks. And we're also climbing in the direction of level 20. So far so good. Lost one match against the pretty insane. Uh, it's not the damage, it's the uh, unstable part. Let the hunt begin. You asked oh. for it. Okay, we've got a one drop. One is the only time where we can play the uh, buff Merlock, the Grimscale Oracle, without having a on the board. Polymorphing this creature. Don't mess with us! 
We can do this. That's not a good two drop he got. I see. Still taking way too much damage. Sacrifice the blue gold warrior. This way, either needs to use Lothap and his weapon. I do believe with uh, some luck and skill you can at least get to level 20. And if you are at level 20, you should be able to get the car of the season. Let the hunt begin! You asked for it. That's okay. Right, a mirror image would have been so much better in the early game than the fireball. Let's <laughs> charge me, I should attack. If we buff up one zero twos. What? Okay, that's that's not an experience player. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Did call him. He did call him. 
so best. of trap elemental because I can now trade in here the battle cry will have at all. And uh, I still have the option to attack the water elemental and keep them alive. But uh, yeah if you would have used the battle cry on the water elemental. I've got a heat! Now, Don't you bet! Done that before. <laughs> now I'm unable to take her to the right here, but it doesn't matter. this round but
We'll also get the points out to our next arena run. We continue to grind today for level 20. We should be able to draft another arena deck. And yeah, see what we get from there. Jaina versus Garrosh. Victory on death! You asked for it. So we got something to play on turn two. Job's done. Jetty rolls the uh, correct way to play. Blood. 
Oh well, I guess this uh, concludes it for today's episode. Hope you had fun watching the video and hopefully see you guys next time.